What's up guys, Jacob Ober here. Uh, there, so there was some news uh, to report today for the Bucks uh, via trade. Obviously today is the trade deadline, I believe at 4 p.m. Central Time. So we got a, still a few hours of the trade deadline left. But they did make a trade a couple hours ago, and that was when they traded Thon Maker straight up for Stanley Johnson to the Detroit Pistons. Um, as for my thoughts on this trade, I, I really don't know how to feel about it. I don't. I mean... I really like Thon. I've always been a guy who's really defended Thon and said, hey, let's just wait a little bit, see what happens with him. And, you know, still, there, I think there's a part of me that wants wanted the Bucks to, to wait a little longer on Thon. I mean, we've seen him uh, at some of, we've seen some of the potential that we could get out of him. We've seen him in, him in the playoffs. In the Toronto series a couple years ago, he was a huge factor. And in the Boston series last year, he was also a huge factor. He had those five blocks in five minutes. Now, that was a very impressive playoff performance by him. And he still shows flashes every once in a while. Um, but obviously the uh, the Bucks backcourt is a little bit crowded right now, and he wasn't really getting a whole lot of minutes, so I can understand why he wanted to leave, and I can also understand why the Bucks wanted to trade him. Now as for who we got in return, Stanley Johnson, he's probably not going to play that much. This is more of a salary dump kind of thing for the Bucks, I believe, because Thon Maker is owed $3.6 million this uh, off season and he still has an extra year on his contract. Stanley Johnson's contract is expiring after this year, so that frees up a little bit of cap space for the Bucks in case they want to go back and re-sign a guy like Brooke Lopez, who has been phenomenal for them this year. Uh, so that's what this move really strikes me as. It's not a huge, significant move. It's To me as a fan, it's a little bit disappointing because I love Thon Maker. I've always loved Thon Maker. Uh, there was a point earlier in this year where I actually wanted to buy his jersey. I'm glad that I didn't, though, because, of course, they ended up trading him. But um, I am really disappointed that we're not going to get to see Thon anymore, and I really hope that he finds uh, something in uh, in Detroit. Hopefully he gets more minutes, hopefully he gets more playing time, and maybe he can grow into a, a much better player over there. Uh, but um, Stanley Johnson, as for Stanley Johnson, the player who we're getting, like I said, I don't think he's going to play a whole lot, but... If he does end up playing, he is a very, very good wing defender. He's a, he's always been really, really good at defense. Um, coming out of college, he was a much better shooter. Right now, he's not really that great of a shooter. He's only shooting about 29% on his career. He's only been in the league a few years, however, though. So maybe he would be better in Budenholzer's system. I know he's a guy that still does shoot threes. He's averaged about 3.8 uh, three-point attempts this year, and he's making about 1.1 of those. Uh, not a great percentage, but he does shoot them. So maybe he could get uh, some more open looks in Budenholzer's system or something. Maybe he can. Th he thinks that he could develop into a very uh, good 3 and D player. Uh, we'll have to see what happens there. I'm not really exactly sure what the plan is. My guess is that he's just not really going to play a whole lot, and then he's going to um, he's going to leave after this year, but, um, we'll have to see what happens with that, uh, and also, before I leave, uh, you guys today, I'd say, keep an eye out for any, uh, Tony Snell trade, uh, possibility in the next couple of hours, because I really think that he is a guy who might end up getting traded because of his big contract, so, um, anyways, guys, well, that's all I really have to say in this video, like I said, uh, keep an eye out for Tony Snell notifications, and obviously I'll update you guys if the Bucks do make another trade later in the day. I'm assuming they're going to, because this feels like, uh, it feels like the Bucks need to make some, at least one trade to try and help their, uh, three-point shooting or something, get a, a, a wing defender, or who can actually shoot threes really well, unlike Stanley Johnson. Uh, I would like to take a look at maybe, um, Dwayne Dedman from the Atlanta Hawks. He's a guy who's been on my radar for a while. I'd love for the Bucks to be able to trade for him. But um, anyways, guys, though, that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.